Yo, what's good, cool cats? This is P Delta coming to you with Horror Stories of an Ex McDonald's Employee by Dope J. Have I have I seen this person before? No. Have you? Maybe not. Hopefully, this will be your first introduction. Then we can get this guy some some more press, even though he's like a million times bigger than I am. And he's got, and he gets 64k views in two weeks. Well, I get like two, so. <laughs> but, you know, it always helps to help. People who make cool animations deserve as much publicity as they can get. That means Tutweezy, Lanester, anybody like that. So, even if I can get one more person to subscribe to this guy, hey, that's better than nothing. In the case, I know this is going to be good. I just have a good feeling about it. That's why I decided to react to it. And I'm using my old little, little recorder to see if it works. The sound has been really bugging with me lately. As you can probably tell from earlier videos that were, that were, that were used in this format, my voice is so quiet compared to the video. And now I turn the video volume down, the system volume. So hopefully it'll be a little bit more even. But even so, it's like, that just makes the video super quiet. But it, it, it is what it is. If, in any case, if you guys are ready, spuds up. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. Yeah, almost. I almost recorded another another video that was all orange. Okay, now we can go. There was a roach above the fire, but there was a roach above the fire just one day. So the roach is chilling above the grease vat, inhaling all the aromas. The fries is just bubbling. Delicious. Him, and I guess the steam rising loosened up. Yep. The grip, He's gonna fall in. Fell right. In. Disgusting. I'm standing over there looking flabbergasted, and T just looks over at me in shock. Hmm. So immediately, bro leaves to go tell a manager so that way we could stop serving fries. Yep. And I go back to doing what I was doing. But when he gets back, he realized that somebody had served oh, a no. batch of fries. No. And I bet you ten bucks, no twenty five bucks, that it's the, that it is the exact. Order of fries that had the dang cockroach in it. I bet you. I'll bet all the money, okay? Here. What you want to be when you grow up? You got 10 seconds. 10, 1. So you should know the answer. Philanthropist. Don't, you probably don't even know. And honestly, there ain't even nothing wrong with that. Honestly, bro, take your time. Unless you pushing 30. Man, you need to get Whoa. Up. You looking like a bump nigga. If you pushing 30 and living with your mom, I subscribe for no. you right now. Go get a job. Get off YouTube. Yeah, that ain't your too hardest. Get off Personally, YouTube. I want to be a lot of things, but besides YouTube, I want to be a billionaire. And I know that's not a profession, Whoa. but that's what I want to do. And right now, that makes I got sense. me a plan in place to achieve that. But not too long ago, I ain't have no plan. Back when I first graduated high school, I ain't want to go to college. I ain't know what to do. In my mind, all college was was a whole bunch of debt to take some courses that wasn't even going to help me with shit. And I was right, but I'm still here. You know, <laughs> accumulating debt okay. and knowledge. But anyways, back then... My mom Duke said I had two options. Two. Either I could go to school or I could work. Exactly. So I could get the out. Exactly. So what did I, do? So I went to work. Now I was 17 at this time, and I realized quickly that nobody wanted to hire 17 year olds. Never mind ones that couldn't drive to work. Mm -hmm. so I spent days applying. Indeed. Really Not good resume. All that. Nobody was responding to me. It was crazy too. I made me a nice professional resume. Even lied on that. Bitch. And nobody cared. But then a few weeks later, I finally got. Don't worry, mate. I lied on mine too. It didn't help all that much, but I mean, I'm stable now, so. One interview from Waterburger. So I go up to Waterburger. They interview. And I don't even make money off of YouTube say, oh, yet. Yeah, you know, you hired. We we gonna hire you for show. We gonna call you back in a couple weeks, right? Just never call me back. Have me stressed. Never. So now it's about a month since I graduated, and I'm still just sitting at home, <laughs> no job, no school, feeling like a bum. But then my mom came home one day. And she, told me she had gotten me an interview at McDonald's. Yay! And she had went up there and talked to the manager and asked them if they got a job for her son, and they said, Yeah, this is crazy too, because I had applied to that McDonald's multiple times and they, they but i say less 
on the day of the interview, my mom brought me there. Mom's working she magic. Me, she made sure that I was dressed up OD nice. Shorty had me looking like I was going to prom. So I woke uh, up in that. She called his mom and shorty. Me like, yo, this is retarded. What the fuck is he doing wearing a whole suit? This is me. Nah, I'm not buddy. You're not <laughs> But anyways, I got an interview and then I got hired on the spot. And they told me to come into work next two weeks. Now, this is my first job hey, ever. And I this is Black Wall Street, day, bro. I put on that uniform they gave me, looked in the mirror, and felt old. Oh, Deep and disgusting. Mm. I had on the whole McDonald's oh. fit, all the gear. I was a whole thing. They also only gave me one outfit for the whole week, and I didn't even fit right. So I woke up in their first day looking hey. busted. I'm thinking I'm about to sit. What kind of money do these guys think that their employees make? We can't be washing clothes five days a week. The heck? <laughs> Down, watch some training videos, but nah, niggas threw me straight into the mix. Right I'd be watching that thing twice a week, man. In the kitchen. Honestly speaking, though, the job itself isn't really that hard. Hmm. It can just get annoying when it gets busy, and you can hate it. Pretty much anybody in there would rather be anywhere else. The one good part about it is that every day you get one free meal, and I guess it's cool if you like McDonald's, but I ain't really like McDonald's back then, and I definitely don't like that shit now. From that Makes day, sense. I'd say it took me about 20 minutes to hate the job. <laughs> okay. on, and yeah, I, I wanted to quit basically every day. Aye, aye, aye. year working there was pure agony. Me, their managers would schedule me whenever the they wanted, regardless of if I was available. And if I ever tried to request off, they'd still schedule me. But my ass, bro, if I request off and you schedule me, you best believe I'm not coming in. Mm. You no, know, stop playing with me like that, you heard? Stop playing with me. Hey, hey, I respect that though. If he's actually being serious, I respect that. Because I used to do the same thing. I used to obviously ask off from my bosses. Everybody has, because sometimes you got stuff to do. And, you know, I'd have things switched around for various reasons. Whether it was some or whether it was another another working experience, volunteering, or giving blood, getting shots, I I was always good. I was always ready. But anyways, the worst part about it all was the pay. He was paying me seven twenty five an hour. That is not a livable wage. No. Nigga, you work an hour, you can't even buy a meal from McDonald's where you working. <laughs> the ten piece meal costs eight. Oh $9. heck no! Nah. You still hungry? Man, you I at least made ten. Hungry. God damn! You're not making no money. I was working thirty five hour work weeks and taking home only four hundred cash for two weeks. Completely unacceptable. Mm. I don't even know why I was doing it. And I know the pay sounds like. But the customers were at, sir. No the Karens. The register, All the Karens. I realized customer service jobs. Bro, oh, bro, hold up, hold up. Hold up. The black Karens are the worst. I don't know if he works in, in, in a similar area to me, but oh man, when I was young and in food service, younger, still young obviously, but not as much. Oh man, the black Karens were relentless. They were awful. They were almost, they were worse than the white ones. Heck, an old white lady come in, she'll get mad, she'll call me an N-word, and then she'll call back later. But she won't, but she won't, like, just trash the whole place. Not physically, because she cause obviously wouldn't let her in anywhere where she could trash things, but she won't, bruh, these black Karens, bro, they will give you the most attitude in the world. I, I, they may, they turned me into a Karen, bro. I, I turned into a Karen. Cause I was so, cause I was so fed up with people, bro. I was so mean. I, I hate that. I hated that time in my life because I, I was completely out of character. Oh man. At McDonald's, the customers have no respect for you. Cause well, obviously you don't respect yourself. Look at what mm. you're working and then your managers tell you the same old bullshit. The customer is always right. No, it's not. And they're not. No. And I have the perfect example of this. I call her the bra lady. So the fry lady. So one day I'm in the front, I'm working a cash register, and a lady comes in with her son, and she orders a Happy Meal for him. So you mm -hmm. know us McDonald's workers, we got on that. Satisfaction is our number one priority. We got that shit out to her in a timely manner. Psych, I lied. She was waiting for about 15 minutes before she got her food. So I gave her a Happy Meal and kicked out the door. Get up out of here. But then about 10 minutes later, she comes back in the door. With the fries. She is Heated. Now when I see her heated, I get heated. Cause you back here for only reason you could be back here is if you about to come here. It's so easy to match the energy. Just here Ten minutes ago, and I know this ain't that good. You ain't coming back for more. So she gets up to the counter with her arms crossed, and then just shows me the kitty fries. I didn't know what she was trying to show me, what that was supposed to mean. So fries. I'm standing there staring. Delicious. At her. 
Uh, What's up? Uh, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? You wanna fight? What? No, look at this. Sh Do you see this? You think I'm gonna give this to my son? Uh, yeah, that comes with the Happy Meal, ma'am. Those are some fries. Uh, yeah, I know, but why would I give him these fries? You see them? Uh, What's wrong with them? They look like fries. What? Are they cold? No, they're not cold. Man, do you want me to give this to my kid so he can hurt himself? Hurt himself for some fries? <laughs> oh. <Is> he... <laughs> it's because they're sharp. Because they're tiny and sharp. What? She thinks he's going to stab his eyes out or something? Stupid? Excuse me? These fries are too sharp. They're, they're sharp too man? sharp. Um, I don't think you want a sharp fries. Excuse me? Get your manager. Get your manager over here now. Oh, hey, my kid's going to stab himself with this fry. These fries are too sharp for my son. What do you want to do? Cut him? Damn, all our fries are like him. Would you like us to cut him? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. We, we can't actually do that. I was just being sarcastic. Why the, Why would you ask if you can't do it then? This is fucking ridiculous. I want a refund right now for my whole meal. No. Uh, Hell okay, no. Okay, ma'am. No problem. Like I said, she was very wrong. No way. She got her refund and the food. Customers always right, I guess. The custies ain't the only problem, though. The Bruh. The is mad annoying, too. I had this one manager. Her name was Amy. Oh, Amy. God, bro. Let me put you on. So, first of all, she was a whole snitch. She used to pick what? Up what she got to be fat, though? Read their messages and then go tell upper management what was going on. Ooh. Was mad weird. She was also super lazy. She was just going to back on her phone. Why she look like a sloth? The store, she got overwhelmed. If you had the clothes with her, just know that you was doing all the work. I had this other mm. manager named Miss K. And Miss K hated Amelia. She was the opposite of her. A hard worker, but she loved to yell. She would yell at the workers, the cuspies, even other men. Wait. There was this one. Oh, Amy is Amelia. Okay. Why are they called Amelia? Amy? I've never really thought of Amy as a as, as an abbreviation name. All the Amys I know were actually named Amy. That's 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 interesting. You guys know any Amelia's named Amy? I don't. But Kelly and Amelia had got into it. Let me put you on. I right, so boom. We had gotten this new worker from Mississippi. His name is A.D. He looks he high. On the older side, he was probably about 20-something, pushing 30. And he had worked for a McDonald's out in Mississippi. So <laughs> he got to our McDonald's. Him and Miss K developed relations, Ooh. I guess. And that was strictly against the rules. She was upper management and he was cruel, but they didn't care. But one day, Avery and Amelia, they just disappeared for two hours. So this was mad weird. Cause God damn. Chopped. Shorty was dirt. God dang it, Adrian. Bruh, you were in there, man. Why you gotta mess something up so quickly? Pop, he's bugging. I don't know what he was doing, but they was going. Now, since it was McDonald's, obviously rumors started, as they always do at McDonald's, and Kelly already hated Amelia. So when mm -hmm. you heard about her being with her man, they started beef. I just realized I definitely referred to them as their real names just now. Well, yeah, I guess we're just. Oh kidding. well. That situation quickly blew up out of proportion and she escalated. Miss Kelly was about to. Fuck <laughs> she don't even. Like he I don't said, care. Amelia was a rat snitch, dirty. B so she went right to management, <laughs> snitched on Kelly, and she got packed up. Looking back at the situation, every single last <gasps> one of them is a do bad. Like, what are y'all just doing? Whatever. Anyways. How are you gonna get rid of an actual hard worker when you're completely useless? Somebody snitch on the snitch. She don't deserve to be working anymore. Screw her. Every time I tell somebody that I used to work, dang the Amelia, ask me, yo, are they killing with the an A? The back? You know they ain't doing that. But there's a whole lot of nasty shit that do go on. I done seen a lot over my time being. You should have freaking chose Rem. God dang it. Okay, screw. Yeah, <laughs> no. Moldy bread, rotten tomatoes, Ugh. grease piles behind the stove. But by far the nastiest thing I seen involved a roach and some frogs. Yep, mm -hmm. we're going back to the beginning. Yo, I'm fake putting y'all niggas onto mad stories right now. Yo, like this shit up. You know this shit flyer. Subscribe. Yeah. Yo, we about to go hard, dropping mad content. You don't want to miss out. Anyways, back to the story. So I'm over there working, you know, in the kitchen, chefing it up, flipping patties, delicious, bang bang. But then my man T, who was working on fries that day, he gets my attention. He points to a roach right above the fryer. Now I want to make this very clear: this is not common. Roaches do not just be running around McDonald's like that. And this wasn't that dirty. But there was a roach above the fryer this one day. So the roach is chilling above the grill. Doesn't, doesn't have to be all. Well, your your house doesn't have to be dirty to be. Uh, to be roach inhabited, it just has to be warm and moist. Because if you have a warm and moist spot, 
it's more than likely a roach is going to look at that and say, Mmm, <laughs> tasty. <laughs> look at him, he looks so happy. <laughs> Hello, Romas. The fries is just bubbling underneath him, and I guess the steam rod Whee! is loosening up his grip because bro <laughs> fell right in. Now I'm standing over there looking flabbergasted, and T just looks over at me in shock. I think it was so intentional. Bro leaves to go tell a manager so that way we could stop serving fries, and I go back to doing what I was doing. But when he gets back, he realized that somebody had served a batch of them $25 dollars. Mm. that that is the Ooh. roach All in I'm the fries whoever got them fries had a secret ingredient added to the mix it probably enhanced the flavors oh my why are you mm. doing this juicy <laughs> yeah and they didn't even know then, mcdonald's fries have been a Dub, and that was the only thing I liked, so I never go to McDonald's. Oh no! At McDonald's got to become too much, and one crazy chain of events led to me getting enough out of there. But for that story, you just gonna have to wait for part two. <laughs> when you're a trash superhero. <laughs> Here, yo, it's good job, uh, boys. I didn't mean to. I did not mean to stink in. <laughs> okay, okay, this is dope, Jay. I know you guys enjoyed the heck out of that video because. <laughs> What the heck? I don't even know why I did that, but, but it was because I saw Jay's lollipop and I was trying to be funny. Yeah, subconsciously funny. That's how that's how funny I am. <laughs> Man, I hope you guys had a good time because I sure did. This guy is pretty cool, makes some dope animations. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to him and I hope you enjoyed his story because I sure did. I hope this video was actually audible because, yeah. <laughs> And I hope that you guys have an amazing week. That's all from me. So, Godspeed. I'm out of here. This potato's out. This potato's out. Peace.